on a, on a piece of paper. So the fax would go to Holland, and the frame was made there. Then I'd fly on Friday night, five o'clock I'd fly to Luton in England, work the whole weekend and fly back Sunday night to be there in time for midnight to go home and act like nothing was happening. So that went on for three months and then um, just crazy stuff happened along the way. But the bike was meant to just be a show bike and then we showed it in, in Munich and they said, oh, we like it, then we had to make it. So the hard stuff happened. <laughs> and then the trouble started. But anyway, so that's why it's got a, it's a bit higher than it should have been <laughs> and a little bit more uncomfortable and it's got less fuel than it should have had. <laughs> but at least it got built. I mean, something like this could not have happened in Japan or anywhere else. I mean, it is completely lunacy. It's a little bit of lunacy, but yeah. it's here now, and, and that's, that's the great part about Italy. That's what makes you know, the motor, Italian motorcycles different from everything else. Yeah. I mean, there it, is things yeah, that, that happen. Sense. Exactly. I mean, who do this? It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of the time, the reaction you get when you do these or other types of bikes, you know, usually the first reaction of everybody is. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> what are you thinking about? Are you crazy? I mean, the mon we go back to the monster. I mean, people are like, hang on. What are you talking about? Oh, I mean, the, monster, the monster is done. The monster is 20 years. Yeah. 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 That's, that's the best example of what we are saying. You know, yeah. monster was, a, was a, an, an accident. It was yeah. not. So that there was no marketing plan, there were no business people involved. Wow, thanks so It was just, you know, wow. a couple of guys, you know, getting together and said, this is the bike I would like to ride tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's what it happens. Uh, then the PR people, you invent all these stories about, you know, yeah, <laughs> monster because of this, is that. The real story is not like that. You know, the monster was a name that was created, in a sense, by my two sons. At that time in Italy, we have these funny little muppets in rubber that you could have to collect them and put it in a pyramid and collect them. So they were kids, and they would call me every time I would get home. They said, but did you buy me the monsters? I said, sometimes I did, sometimes I forget, but they were like hammers. You know, every day, the monsters, the monsters, the monsters. So one summer in 1990, I didn't have much to do, so I asked my boss at that time. I said, what, what can I do? I mean, I'm going to do something. And I have shown him a sketch of a monster in 88, two years before. And I said, yeah, yeah, do, go to Ducati, get some pieces, and do whatever you want. <laughs> so I went to Ducati, got the pieces, and started working in the monster with this other guy. And we started spending money. So one day he called me you know, from Bologna and said, listen, you're spending too much money in this thing. So we need to you know, make it official. What should we call this project? I said, you no, know, you usually use numbers and years and years. So the only word that at that time was, <laughs> was monster. So I said, well, why don't we call it monster? I said, what? <laughs> yeah, monster. Yeah, call it whatever you want. So <laughs> the started being called monster, monster, monster. Oh, you're working in the monster. So from that moment on, uh, then time went by. It was we were in 92 and we presented. And a week before, the company said, well, we're going to call this like a monster, not at all. So they call these uh, people from the outside with this list of names. Maybe monsters, you know, it was Daet, Ducati Saeta, Ducati Blitz, Ducati, you know. So hopefully the importer of it, France was there, Michel Serrat, and he said, but you see, you Bolognese people are crazy. You have the right name for the bike. Why are you spending all that money? Call it monster. Even so, you know, we went to Cologne in 92, and the bike was presented as M900. So it was not even a monster. We have to remove the little word. But then, when they came back from the Cologne, most of the people thought, that's the monster. Why do they call it monster? So that's a name that stuck, and it's been there forever. So let's clear the record, you know. The name <laughs>